Hello, how you all doing? Mike Bradley here. Hope you are doing well as always. So uh, a couple months ago, I did a kind of reaction to myself and I found an old video from 2000 when I was 15 years old and I've been playing for a couple of years. Uh, actually, I've been playing seven, eight, nine, ten. I've been playing for about three and a half years. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a tag popping up there. Uh, maybe watch that first and then come back to this video. Um, and now what I thought would be interesting is to see what two years practice did to me. And I have a video from, uh, I think it's the 22nd of, a se of September 2002. Uh, so about two and a half years of practice. Now when I was, if you've seen the, the video when I was 15, I was all right. You know, I was coming on, you can see obviously I'm a beginner player, watching it back, it was very interesting uh, to see the early years of me. And now in this video, uh, I had gone to music college and was doing at least two hours practice a day, if I try, no, try and remember back to nearly 20 years ago. <sighs> I can't believe it's been that long. So I've been practicing for at least two hours a day for those two years, and I've it's from a, a, my old band Biff Tex gig. The picture isn't great. Like I say, it's from 2002. Very, very grainy and a smoky bar when people could smoke in bars. And so it's a bit grainy. Can't see me perfectly. But it's very interesting to see the development in two years. It certainly was for me when I was kind of getting time stamps to go for because I, I won't show the whole thing because it's like a 40 minute thing. So I'm just kind of pickpocketing. Uh, some solos and whatnot. So let me get my Mac out. And again, not the greatest picture, but you know, it's nearly 20 years old and uh, all that kind of stuff. But it certainly gives you, uh, you can, you can, you, you'll see for yourself, all right? So let's have a look. All right, so let's look at this bit here. Uh, a little jam was going on. And um, yeah, let's see. <laughs> Uh, warning, some swearing coming up. All right, first of all, isn't it cool to see people in a room listen to music again? Um, so there, uh, like I say, I, I, I finally had a wah-wah pedal. Uh, if I remember rightly, I was going for a wah-wah, I had a Boss SD1 and a tuner. That was it, pedal-wise. And I had my Marshall DSL 100 and uh, for a 4x12. So um, obviously, I want to show more there, but I'm just going to take what I'm getting from that. Uh, first of all, Mr. Pentatonic Boy, but I was all about speed, and I have a feeling um, it's, it's, it's overplay going on. Bear in mind, I'm 18 years old, but my kind of finger gymnastics were, um, were very much on back then, you know. I, I was very much focused on wanting to play fast, and I think uh, ended up probably playing too many notes all the time. But... One thing I can remember was the amazing feeling of playing for a valve amp. I, I joined that band in the February of that year. And I remember I borrowed some money off my grandparents, which I would pay back in installments like every month. 
because uh, I wanted, I thought I've got to have a Marshall amp, I've got to have a stack, and you know, it turned out to be a valve. I didn't really know any difference between a valve amp and a solid state. I had a, my Fender Stage 100. That's what I was using for the first couple of months of this band. And so I remember thinking, why is this sound like, I remember thinking this sounds like ACDC, that kind of warm tone we get from a valve amp. This is 2002. I didn't have YouTube or forums or anything like that back then. So um, yeah, I, I really started to understand uh, the control of feedback, like that last note there, holding a note and then with the bar, you know, um, that started to make sense to me, feedback and the power of a valve amp. So, and also I can hear that that's me there. You know, I can hear, you know, my my tone, um, you know, you, if, you, if you're aware of my guitar playing um, and me as a person, uh, you can hear it's me. I can still hear it's the puberty mic. I can still hear, um, you know, yeah, the, 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 no, the youngster in me. Hopefully I've matured a little bit in my playing and in life. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let's listen some more. Very Nirvana that song. Um, yeah, the overplaying. Lots of lots of lots of notes. All pentatonics. All pentatonics. I don't think I uh, actually. I know actually. I did. I knew my major and minor scales there, but it was all very much pentatonics. But the speed was there for sure. The speed was there. Um, yeah, I didn't realise I was quite as fast as that back then, but I really really was. Uh, let's listen some more. <laughs> Sorry for the camera work, but let's let this go. <laughs> all that as well there gold I, was, I didn't know i could pick like that <laughs> of course i knew but wow i was i was on it then blimey i wouldn't have oh, the, the, the the youthfulness there of being 18 years old uh skip forward for a bit let's play a whole song i've made a little 33 right let's let's skip forward a little bit I'll play the whole song of this one, so you can kind of see it all. The Sambora influence. I listened to Richie Sambora a lot back then, so the, what? the pinch harmonic. That's Chris on bass. Dom on drums, Paul when he was singing, still one of my dearest friends today, and Dom. And a very young Mike there. That's, 
the guy down to the front, that's Dom, the drummer's dad, Steve. He used to follow us everywhere. Every gig we did, he would be there. Bless his heart. I think a uh, solo is coming up. Very Oasis. Very Oasis going on there. Um, I used to love playing that song. Cloud Nine, that was cool. I used to love playing that. Um, yeah, so me as a guitar player then, I like Shape 1 and 2 of the pentatonic scale. Um, and my God, I overplayed. Too many notes. Uh, but, you know, it was fun. You know, I was all about just wanting to play fast. That's all, all I cared about. And... Um, you know, but it's all pretty tight. I had that big punchy tone, and I saw I kicked on a so uh, for the solo. I kicked on that Boss SD one. So all the rhythm tracks, all the rhythm tracks, all the like when I was doing the rhythm and the, I don't know if I would have kicked on when I was doing the little riff, uh, the pedal or not. But um, that was amp distortion and and the pedal, you know. And I've always been that to be honest. You know, I think pedal. I love gear, don't get me wrong, but I've always been about a good amp and a good guitar. And uh, I think it can get a little bit crazy with pedals sometimes, you know. So, uh, yeah, I just literally had a wah-wah and a Boss SD-1 then. That's all I had. No reverb from the amp. I didn't use delay for years. Uh, yeah, man. It was good. It was good. But, no, it's really interesting seeing this back and um, the amount of practice I would have put in. Uh, you know, if you think two years isn't that long, really. I mean, where we are now in 2021, uh, a year has flown by, hasn't it, from March to, to now. And, you know, so the two years practice I put in there, phew, that was, again, I, I, I did a minimum of two hours um, a day. I would have done four, five, six sometimes. You know, I played all the time. Or as much as I possibly could, you know, with a minimum of being two hours of dedicated practice and then we'd pick it up sporadically during the day as well. So let's listen to one more. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else is on here. I'll fast forward a little bit. OK, this is a song called Show Me The Sun, um, which was the first song I wrote with the band. Myself, Paul, the singer and the bass player, we wrote this song. Um, I've just found a. have just literally come across a bit where I'm doing a solo. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I look so, so young. I hadn't got my swagger yet.
Well, I played something other than pentatonics. So I actually went into a major scale there. Um, yeah, that, that takes me back to some good time. I forgot we did that. Bow, now, 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 now. Apologies for the out of tune singing, but you know, this was, there, were, there was no monitors there in that venue. No monitors at all. I hope you're kind of enjoying this random trip down memory lane. Hope it hasn't been too boring <laughs> or anything like that, you know. But again, I just wanted to kind of show, I guess my development and how you kind of progress as a guitar player you know so from a few years playing and then the jump i obviously made in those two years you know so from the previous video where it was about three and a bit years of playing the guitar and obviously practice to then two years later and the development you kind of make in those two years is uh is really really cool let me find one more solo right <laughs> I like doing those, I still like them to be honest, but uh, yeah, I had the same little idea, just moving around different keys, so um, yeah, hope, uh, hopefully I, I developed on that since Mr. Pentatonic Boy, you know, so anyway, I'll leave you with that, hopefully you enjoyed uh, a trip down memory lane, um, I have got a few more, I think I've got one from two years after this, like in 2004, so if you want to see more of this just let me know in the comment section below please you know because i i like hearing your feedback where you would like me to take things so um yeah if you want me to see do another one from two years later 2004 and you can see the development of me then um yeah let me know but i've been mike bradley you've been you hope you're good and well uh head over to my website mikebradleymusic.com to get music from me now 19 years later and more lessons and things like that and t-shirts and all that good stuff anyway lots of love i'll see you soon mike bray signing out bye Fade it away.